Today in Photoshop, we're going to learn how to create this text art image. And we're going to learn some really cool Photoshop effects using brush presets. Go ahead and open your image. The image I'm going to use is of the one and only. It's of me. <laughs> so sometimes when you open an image in Photoshop, the background layer will be locked. If it is, just press Control J and that will make your image onto a new layer. Then you can delete that layer. Now make a new layer and fill it in with your paint bucket tool using white. Then grab your text tool and change the color to black and type in Photoshop. You can use whatever text you would like but for today we're going to use Photoshop. Now click on the brush tool and create et or do edit define brush preset. Then we're going to call this Photoshop brush and click OK. Then you can go ahead and delete that layer and we'll make one more brush preset just so you know what we're doing. We'll call this one love. Click on your brush then do edit define brush preset and we'll call this one love brush click OK. You can delete that layer and you can also delete the white layer. And you see up here it's created your brush presets. You created Photoshop and Love. Now create a new layer and since you're on black go ahead and fill that in with black. Then you're going to create two more layers. Drag your image layer all the way to the top. On layer number three we're going to call this your text layer. On layer number four, four, we'll call it your normal layer. Now select and hit control and select both of them. Then hit control G and that will put them into a group. This is a vital step to making sure that the clipping mask works at the end. If you don't group these two layers together, the clipping mask will not work properly at the end. So go ahead and open this box and click on your text layer and hide your image layer. Then come over here and click on the brush and then we're going to choose one of the brush presets that we just made. Choose love and make sure that your color is on white and if you start painting now this is what it's going to look like it's not going to look very good so we want to make sure that we click right here on this box right beside the brush presets and this is going to give us options on how to to choose what our brush is going to look like so the brush tip shape we're going to make that to 200 the shape dynamics the size jitter is going to be at 100 and make sure your angle jitter is at zero because um, if it's anything different it's going to start angling your text and you don't want that. So bring it down to zero if it's not already there. The scattering, you're going to make sure the scatter is at 200 and the count is at 2. Now you can change the scatter and count later on whenever you start getting more comfortable with making these kinds of artwork. Okay, the transfer, make sure your opacity jitter is at 100% and your flow jitter is at 100%. Now click off that and you can start painting. You see that's pretty cool. Now this is going to become your clipping mask. So you want to make sure that it's pretty much filled in. Um, you can right click and you can change the size of your text. See how you change the size of it? Right click again. Let's make it even larger. Alright, let's change to a different text, the Photoshop one. Whenever you change brushes, you have to set the presets again. So come back over here and change the brush tips, tip shape. 200. 200 for the jitter. Scattering. Oh, I'm sorry, 100 for the size jitter. Scattering, 200, and count 
to make sure your transfer is 100% for opacity and 100% for flow. Start filling this in. And remember, you're really going to want to fill this in because this becomes your clipping mask. Right click. We'll bring that down just a little bit. All right, now come over here to the layers and show your image again. And then right click, create clipping mask. Now you've created the clipping mask, but we obviously want to add more text to it. So click on your text layer again, and you can add more text. You can make sure that things are shown that you want to be shown. Now come over to the normal layer, and we're going to choose the very first brush. And we're going to bring the opacity down to 25% around 25%. And we want to make sure that the face is comes through clearly. I don't want to clean it up perfectly to 100%, but I want to make sure that the face is something that people see. I want people to recognize who is in this picture. So then once you've gotten it to where you you like it, come over and Make sure you're on your image layer. Come over to this little half moon button and do gradient map. Now click in this box and we're going to choose the purple and orange preset. Then click OK. Then in the opacity, we're going to bring that down to however much you want it to be. I think about 40% is right for me. Now this is just a cool Photoshop effect that you can add to it. I like it for my picture but you don't have to have it on yours. Um, this is pretty much everything on how to do this particular art form. Now um, I bring this up in most of my tutorials that I teach because I've learned a lot from this tutorial right here. I'm going to just introduce you to it a little bit. Um, this is a tutorial that I've stumbled upon and it teaches some really in-depth teaching. There's hours upon hours of training. I went to school for four years and um, I didn't even learn as much as, as this has taught me. And it also comes with fonts, graphics, plug plugins. Um, anything that you would need to learn how to do some really dynamic Photoshop effects. This one's really cool. It shows you how to do lighting and smoke effect. Um, let's see. This one's cool. It's going to show you how to put like a grunge type look to your pictures. This one's going to show you how to um, smooth out uh, the face in some of your photography. Uh, it's going to show you some special effects do how to do avatars in Photoshop, um, how to do wedding photography and set uh, your photos to where they look their absolute best. Um, it's a really cool tutorial. I have a link for it down in my description. There's also going to be a link that comes up in this video. If you want to check it out, just go ahead and click on that link and it'll show you even more tools that you can use and it'll tell you more about the tutorials. Um, I've really found a lot of value on how to work Photoshop through these tutorials. I hope you click on it. Um, if not, go ahead and like this video if you thought it was pretty cool and if it taught you something. Alright, um, see you next time.